He was just a 19-year-old trying to play small-time college basketball. Then he had a daughter born premature and with spina bifida. He took to working to support her and took to the gym. He learned the box as fast as could be expected, pulled off upset after upset to become a part of the Olympic team, and he became the only U.S. medalist coming home with the bronze. And he's got good power. He has that great eraser, something that you're born with. You do not get taught that, and that's power in the right hand. Yellow. Deontay Wilder is something you just can't teach, with many metaphorically comparing his boxing technique to a helicopter. Using this unique anatomical advantage his body provides, 6 foot 7, 83 inch reach, he can angle around your guard like a bomber from above. But even then, the speed he generates in proportion to his 227 pound heavyweight status, you know, can often be found blasting through guard all the same. He is a perfect example of why we have weight divisions, and even then, such athletes for many leave a bad taste in the mouth of their competitors for the techniques they've spent decades refining in an instant may be blasted away by phenomenal genetic aptitude. Many say he has not faced worthy competition, but with contenders like Fury and Joshua on the horizon, we will soon find out. Let's take a glance at Deontay's last fight. Oh. You see me step in and intend to brace with a high guard. Mandula oblongata, blunt force trauma up against the brainstem, right around the guard he has his opponent. Already kinda shook. Oh look, I covered this huge distance in an instant, engaged with my lead before you could even tighten up your guard. Through that opening, chin, fancy restaurant the lights are dimmed. That was really corny, sorry guys. Just look at that, how he stands there with his hands down all casual. His opponent has a significant reach disadvantage versus Deontay. Eyes shut, trauma from the jab, the shock from the cross as I'm further shell up in guard. Deontay, elastic recoil, remain, frontal lobe shutdown, hands together, is praying for the weather to change. Deontay, smells opportunity, look at that. Look at how far Deontay has wound his arm back. A boxing coach would traditionally scoff at any professional for using such technique, especially to that extent, because a shorter motion should be able to beat such technique to the punch. But of course, why does it matter when your opponent is paralyzed in fear and of course, kinda concussed? The elastic recoil, Deontay, smacks Bermain with his own glove. Dear goodness, this man is an absolute monster. This looks like a technique from basketball. And of course, his hook hits around guard, Bermain opens up to get vision on the angle Deontay has taken, which leaves him open for a corkscrew uppercut. Here it's weird watching Bermain open up, perhaps he just wanted vision to see what was thrashing him around. Unfortunately, he opened the door to a beast. It made room for Deontay's cross, elastic recoil. Deontay can get away with his exaggerated method of fighting because of his genetic aptitude. Almost all of his shots are wound back, harnessing the elastic properties of his ligaments, tendons, and fascia. He uses his technique to a far greater extent than Triple G. When you pair that with fast twitch and his anatomical advantage to leverage and angle from, Bond's bomber is fitting, because that's what the man is dropping. Straight bombs. Truly, a rare specimen amongst the boxing world. I do see him having a little more trouble versus Joshua though because Joshua is durable, much more composed, almost similar height, and may be more confidently able to use his tighter technical form, which could beat Deontay to the punch, essentially having him use all that force against himself. Nonetheless, I can't wait to see these titans clash if it is to happen, for I believe it truly will be a learning opportunity for everyone who bears witness. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button if you did, it's good karma. And until next time, peace.